Uh, right now, we want to bring in Stephanie Link. She is Hightower Chief Investment Strategist. She's also a CNBC contributor, and she owns shares of Target. So, Stephanie, want to get your reaction to this news. Yeah, good morning. Um, first, this is a show me story headed into the print. It absolutely was because they negatively pre announced two quarters. Uh, and then last quarter, they missed earnings, uh, but yet they actually reiterated second half guidance. And so the big questions headed into this quarter were two were, were would they cut 4Q, which we just got, um, and, and how it, uh, do inventories look? And of course, you know, the stock, Becky, has actually rallied um, quite substantially from. Um, the June lows, 25% since the June lows, 14% just last week alone. So expectations were it would they would probably cut. That would be the cleansing event, and then you move on. Uh, clearly, the commentary though, in terms of October, is disappointing. And you know what's really disappointing? Cornell spoke actually in October uh, on October 17th at a conference, and he sounded pretty upbeat, which is one of the reasons why the stock actually has ra has rallied. So this is a give back. It's disappointing, but clearly. The there's bloated inventories everywhere. Walmart is handling it better than Target for now. But that also has to do with the mix, because consumables at Target is about 43 percent. Discretionary is 57 percent. So they're seeing problems on the discretionary side. In terms of where they saw the strength, food and beauty, that's exactly what Walmart said. And I think that's going to be the theme across the board for the quarter for a lot of retailers. Are you willing to continue to give them Great. <laughs> and a time to rebuild some of these things, or is, <laughs> has your patience run thin? Yeah. Yeah, my patience is def definitely running thin, but we do try to buy low, right? <laughs> and unfortunately, uh, the stock just keeps going lower. But um, I, I think that 20, this, the fis uh, fiscal 23 um, is, uh, or the 2023 year, actually, the setup is better. Because if you lower the margins, you clear the inventory, and you are seeing better. I mean, they did see better revenues and better comps, right? So mm -hmm. the demand is there. It's spotty. So I think the setup for 23 is better. Um, and uh, and we'll just have to see see where the numbers shake out um, because you know the stock is not expensive here at these levels. Uh, uh, let me talk about an MPD release that was out just looking at the industry overall, saying year over year sales revenue yep. when it came to general merchandise in October was five percent lower, down five percent year over year. It was down fourteen percent in the first week of November. And I will say some smaller retailers that I, that I've heard from. They are seeing things like that, where things really fall off a cliff. I don't know if Walmart is the exception to the yeah. rule. Um, Lowe's and Home Depot maybe too. Uh, but what do you think is really happening with the consumer right now? Well, I think the consumer is definitely feeling the, the heat from higher inflation. So I know um, the CPI and the PPI reports that we got the, in the past week, people were, were applauding it because numbers had come down um, quite, you know, d different than expectations. But they're still really high, Becky, right? I mean, CPI at 7.7 percent, PPI at 8 percent. Um, that's that's really still very, very high. And so I think the consumer, even though they're getting paid uh, more, wages are going higher, inflation is just much more so. And so I think they're, very, they're being picky, they're being choosy. I would have thought, um, just going back to Target, I would have thought they would have done better because they do have a higher end consumer that shops at their stores. And in fact, that's what Walmart told us, right? That they right. did see that trend. So so this is, you know, we kind of kind of sort out all the p moving pieces, but um, it's, uh, it, it's just a challenging environment. And I think you just have to be very selective in the space. Some bright points for the company. I mean, these are things that they're talking about. Traffic up 1.4 percent. Basket increased 1.3 percent yeah. year over year. They say they had unit share gains across all five of their four merchandising categories, so they're not losing market share. Yeah. Um, but that company grew really, really quickly and, and tried to expand, and, and maybe there is the need to, to, to curb and to cull. Well, and you know, the, so here's the thing, right? So inventories, that's their, that's the real problem for them. So inventories were up 66% in the first quarter. They were up 34% last quarter. I haven't seen the number today, but I do want to see where that comes, where that shakes out. It's still going to be too high, obviously. I and mean, that's what they're telling you, right? They're going to continue to clear out the inventory, uh, and they're in that process. So it just takes longer well, they, than well, I think they did say we all were anticipating.